Welcome back to Paranoid Team UDF. In the previous- hey, Sheevan's back. In the previous episode, we were given a... a pretty cryptic message, and that they are coming for us. And I'm assuming it means the Shadow Scale people are coming after us. So we're going to sit here and wait for them. Or we're going to lag. Game? Game? There we go. Alright. There are no quest prompts. Maybe sleeping will do something again. Maybe we can go back to the abyss of the fate. You know, what I was thinking about after making the last episode, isn't this the exact same spot I, f I slept in to go to the ab abyss in the other oh, mod? Are you, Midas? are you a Midas person? You are as well. And I know I'm going to continue confusing Midas magic with the other companions, but I'm, I'm just calling the whole thing Midas. Leave me alone. Okay, so Shivan, you can stay here while I sleep. In case it brings me back to the void thingamajig abyss. I don't know what it's even called anymore. Alright, wow, I haven't saved in a long time. Alright, let's sleep again. And hopefully something will happen. Oh boy. So we were awoken. I didn't see by what, though. By the noise of approaching footsteps. Okay. Oh no! You feel shadow scale point. Oh crap! You are you are one would regard yourself as ruined tales, friend. No need to answer that. I'm here for your head now. If you'd be so kind as allow me to retrieve it from you, he raises his weapon. Oh, he's poisoned us. You're a prick. You will die. What the? Oh crap! Get him! You son of a! Shadow scale poison! No! Hell, I can't see anything. Almost. Ugh, jerk. Where the hell are you? Oh. Ugh, jerk. Oh crap! He's got the antidote. He's just supposed to. Shadow scale silence his body, you find the antidote to the poison. Desperately, you grasp the bottle and tear free the stopper before throwing the bitter liquid down your throat. Within minutes, you can feel the lava like poison in your veins fading as the antidote takes effect. So, we're fine now? Okay, alright. Okay then! Good day. Steven! Help me! Kill <sighs> him! Oh, wait, he's already dead. Alright. They were coming for us indeed. And they came, yes. Uh, Assassin's letter. Oh. While resting, I was attacked. Yes, we know. I killed him quickly, and upon his body, I discovered another note written in the same code as the one Ruin and I found previously. Perhaps the note can shed some light. Oh. I don't know how he translated it, though. Uh. What did he say? I have to open that video because I don't remember what he said about the letters. Yeah. Oh, oh it's the first two letters of every word. Okay, if you are re okay, if you are reading this, then you are. Sog. Then <laughs> what? Then you are. Wait. Okay. Then you are a. As. What the hell is this word? Oh, as tough. As tough as. As tough as if Yeah. Your friend your friend is in Reach Reach and and 
Okay, you know what? The hell with this. I'll be right back. Your friend is in great pain and only you can end it. Drop this note where you first met him to see him again. Christ. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Drop this note. So I'm assuming it means, like, this letter or something. I don't know. To see him again. I should probably leave Sheevan behind for that. Greetings, Greta. My name's... Oh, you're not a person. Oh, well. Not the kind of character I need anyway. I need a male, uh... A male orc or something. I think it's an orc. I don't know. Javen? Okay. <laughs> right then. Back to where this whole thing started. I also remember that I said I would be doing skits with these Let's Play videos of Ruin Tales Tale, but I just don't, like, see anything worth skidding. Maybe, like, at the end or something, I'll do another... But there, there will be more skits anyway, so stay tuned, of course. I kind of have to finish the story in the past anyway, and with something, maybe at least a fight, or a game of Super Bomberman! Alright. Yes? You just, like, stay here, probably. I don't know. Oh, wait. No, it was over here. Okay. Alright, drop the, the thing. Wait, I'm gonna save. Why was I not using my quick save? Oh, right, right, okay, I remember. Anyway, um, yeah, whatever. Oh, wow, how did you code that? I hear him, oh, this guy doesn't look friendly. Okay, the shadow scale standing before you glares at you with cold, critical eyes. So you have come after all. Of course the Dark Hand knew that you would. You have come with the hope of saving your friend, but you fail to realize just how far he's fallen from great. Yeah, this is gonna... Yeah, I'm not doing that whole voice. If this is gonna be like a thousand things of dialogue. I'm not entirely sure you knew about Silence or Ruin Tail and his shadow scale. That letter there was created to test you. The fact that you succeeded in deciphering the letter demonstrates to us that Ruin Tail was dangerously free with sensitive information. It is for that reason that we have decided to summon you to our stronghold. Okay. Now hold still while I blindfold you. It would not do to have you learning the entrance to our lair within the Imperial City. Uh, no. I can just keep, well, I don't know. No, let's play along for once. I've killed too many people in random ways. As I knew you would. Smells of death. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, wait a minute. I know that sound. You took my crap, didn't you? I know that sound. I've been taken to the Shadow Scale headquarters within the Imperial City. I seems, probably it seems, that they have brought me here because they consider me a liability risk to the secrecy of their sect. I need to confront the Dark Hand in charge of this sect of the Shadow Scale assassins and attempt to set Ruin free of this torment. However, I need I need to show to choose the opportune moment to do this. Perhaps I should bide my time for now. You took my stuff. You took all my stuff. <sighs> Great. Yeah, yeah, just walk. 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 I don't care. Cool music, though. Yeah. Wait, which one is it? Oh, okay. Hey, this place looks pretty cool, too. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hail. 
I don't know. I wasn't going to keep this mod after finishing it, but if we get this, like, area as a reward or something, I might. It's pretty cool. Do not speak to me. Okay. Good evening. Oh, that got rid of the... whatever. In Death's Brace. Jeez, what over-the-top names. So you've decided to come after all, risking your life in order to attempt to save Ruin Tail from a fate worse than death. It is an age-old question, one that I pose to you here now. How does one weigh sentient life? If you had to slaughter ten children in order to save twenty adults, would you do it? Would you spill innocent blood to save a greater number of beings? Huh. You cannot put a price on life. Foolishness. You would leave a greater number of people to die just because you refuse to weigh up the value of individual life? Do you know what I would do? I would slaughter them all, emotionlessly, heartlessly, and without a second thought. So why would you bother giving me the other dialogue choice then? You would have hated my answer either way. But it's clear to me that your path is not the logical one. For you are here, throwing away your own life for a slim chance at doing something that probably relates to saving Ruin Tail. How much time do I have left? Three and a half minutes. Where is he? Do not fear. Your friend is very much alive, though not in the way that you are expecting. I can see the look of surprise on your face. After all, you saw him die by the blades of my assassins. No, I'm just cold because you left me naked down here in a freaking dungeon. But you of all creatures should know that death is not necessarily the end. The faithless, of course not. You can just reload the save. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Who are accepted into the heaven of their respective god are trapped in the abyss of the faithless for all eternity. All I did was arrange to have one with certain specialized skills draw your friend from his empty domain. His suffering in his new form is beyond measure, yet such is the punishment for those that betray the shadow scales. Necromancy!